Okay, if you're struggling with drawing fur or fur structure, you're right here in this video. I show you here how to draw giraffe's fur with some darker stains and adding, so starting with a mid-tone, adding darks into that uh, areas and then go over with lighter colors, go in again with darks and finally highlights. This is an insight into one of my drawing lessons in my membership Animal Art Club. There my students can draw the entire giraffe portrait. I show you here how to draw a part of the neck of the giraffe's fur. So let's dive in. If you're interested in joining Animal Art Club, then I invite you to join the waitlist in the link below. Then you are informed first when we welcome new members in the club. A little bit that we see the fur structure here. Here on the right. Okay, then let's continue to work on these spots here. Let's go in again with the same color with 280 raw amber and bringing here darker lines here downwards. I move the pencil quicker to bring in a lot of lines. The darker lines here have not to be so detailed. Just bring in a bit of, um, of yes, of structure in here. Also, let's do it on this one, on this next spot. You can move the pencil quicker and add just some strokes. Let them overlap and cross. Here it has not to be beautiful at this stage. Just bring in the first dark layer on the giraffe's neck here. Bringing in some darker lines also here on this small spot here below. Draw the lines always also into the, the surrounded fur area. Here it's the same, draw fine thin lines into the surrounded area of the spot here. Let them always overlap also into the lighter fur area here. You can also let them a little bit cross here and again draw another layer over this spot. Here with the raw amber. Here we have also a little bit of uh, the part of this spot in the sunlight. Let's draw the, this a little bit more to the right. And also here we have the, the next spot. Let's bring in here some brown strokes and correct the shape a little bit here. There are lots of such uh, unregular edges here. Bringing in the strokes here. Also on this spot, a layer of darker lines. That's a lot of lines that we have to draw here. As always, when we draw animals, Stroke by stroke, it's easy that we draw here two long lines because we want to come to an end quicker. So I take your time here for drawing these lines again. Don't rush. You can move the pencil quicker. That you can. That can you do, but not. Uh, don't don't over jump a stage or leave some 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 areas or don't do them to don't do them well so you can of course uh, move the pencil a little bit quicker to draw the lines uh, quicker in a quicker motion the longer you will draw you will I think start to do this automatically that you draw all these lines um, in a faster uh, method but don't don't uh, skip layers 
draw the lines also upwards here into the light of fair area always let some of the lines also go in the surrounded areas that's really important that you have here always brown strokes also into the, in, in the lighter fur areas here too draw them here upwards okay then let's do another layer uh, with the cream 102 the cream let's add here the light highlight strokes some are more together and overlapping and then there are just some single ones so you can also differ here where these highlight lines are some are here more dense together and overlapping more and then there is space between where you don't have so much light lines and also let them overlap here with the edges start in the light of the area you can also draw here with the cream some ones over the light of fur area here and again bringing in here some lighter hairs here downwards on this spot and let's do the same here start in the lighter area and draw here the short spots downwards always rotate also your pencil i'm going to sharpen it once more to have a sharp point for these small lines and continue to draw fine lines downwards and let them also go in the light in over the light of first stripe here let them a bit cross all the time draw more layers over the same place here draw them downwards very here below draw very small thin lines the smaller the better and again here let them cross also let them again go into the light of fur area and start in the light of fur area let them always overlap a little bit here and also draw the lighter lines here out of that spot here we also need some lighter highlight hairs on it of course and here let's also bring in again in the shadow area some very transparent ones don't use too much pressure in the shadow areas like here they can be more transparent and here they can be then lighter then we have here another one let's do here the same let the hairs go in oh, start in the light of fur area and let them overlap and then draw here our next layer of lighter lighter fur rotate the pencil let the hairs cross here also let them overlap over this stripe again Yes, and so our giraffe is coming more and more together. It's really fun to draw this giraffe, to draw wildlife in general and to draw different kinds of animals. I love it. I hope you love it too, to bring this beautiful giraffe with this amazing eyes, with this long eyelashes. Together, it's fun to draw these spots in the fur. Always draw these transitions between the spots and to draw shadow here on the neck. Okay, then let's bring in with dark sepia some, some more darker sections. 
for example here some darker stains between here so darker bigger dots or also some broader strokes here and there just bringing also so areas that are not uh, so straight everywhere here also bringing with the dark sepia some some dots here and there some darker deeper sections deeper shadows between here on the right side near the main it's darker on this stain here or on this spot and here bringing in some darker stains too deeper shadow areas between okay and then let's go over with another layer of lighter hairs let's take a sharp ivory then and bringing over again the lighter area so another layer three layers or four layers are not so much so add another layer i would say at least the five layers here with base layer a darker layer a lighter layer this darker spots and again another layer layer is is necessary to create a realistic look you can also do more go in again with darker lines perhaps with raw amber between and then add another layer with the ivory let them cross and overlap so bring in build up this this uh, 3d effect with a uh, lots of layers but also don't don't overwork it i would say i think uh, so i i am satisfied with these five layers inclusive the base layer so this is working really well and we have here nice structure in the fur on this spot so i think that's enough here just let them cross you are going over and over again from the right side to the left side and back again so these are when we are on a more layers so we cannot define the layers exactly you can also start on the right side and go over again and here again and so you you have more layers automatically here on your portrait here let's bring in again some more fine lines and also let's add here some more ivory lines here i move the pencil quicker add here some more brilliant lines here move the pencil fast in further direction this is also a method where you can create quicker fine short lines just to push the pencil on the paper with more force with more so with more speed of your pencil and also here you could push the pencil on the paper and draw more of these fine layer lines okay then let's continue to work on the lighter spaces here between with the ivory bringing in some lighter hairs here we have already the darker base layer and so, so these ivory lines are showing up beautifully so it's always good when you mix a darker color over your ivory base layer like we did by the blending process with the blending process and uh, mixed the the the, the ochre brown with the ivory and then we have a darker base layer and can draw with the the ivory color here nice like the lines over it here i have used a bit more pressure because here is the sun the, the, the shadow and there is the sun starting to shine on it so that we have here a nice nice line between or that here it's lighter where the sun is shining on and here is the shadow let's also bring in here some more of the ivory lines downwards let them cross 
some more over this spot also here draw some of these lines over the spot let them cross and go in different directions all the time but just a minimum not too much so not too much let them not to go too much to the left just uh, a little bit and here also we need these lines between the stains the spots and here some ivory between and then here we have also one spot here below on the lower right corner in this right corner bring in here also some overlapping lighter lines and then let's go in with the bistar a bit once more 179 also here below and this lower corner bring in bistar lines between blend it a bit and bringing these the lines between again here and with very low pressure bringing the darker lines between the ivory lines but really with very low pressure just to bring in a bit more contrast again between them I hold the pencil here in the air just move the hand very carefully downwards and upwards really to use very low pressure here to achieve these fine thin lines also here let them cross also draw some some lines again out of the spots okay let's go perhaps over it once more here and there with the ivory and add again some more ivory lines or you could also go over it with the white so let's add here again a layer with ivory some ivory lines here and there between bringing in some more ivory lines and also let them overlap over the stains Bring them here between two. Here. You can also do it with white and go in with white here in the sunshine area and add with the white some highlights. Let's do another layer with white and bring in here some light reflections in the sunlight area. Just another layer with the white and lighter hairs brighten up also this part here with white a bit and add here white fine thin lines as another layer with light reflections so here the sun is shining on this coat so bringing in the light reflections with white then you have again another layer with more contrast here some short white strokes here between also here let's add another layer with white lines and here between two also rotate the pencil turn the pencil in all directions also here where the shadow ends bring in a bit contrast with white just add some white strokes here okay I hope you find that helpful I hope you like that video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I also invite you again to join on the waitlist for my membership animal art club you can find the link below in the description if you have any comments then post them below okay so I hope I see you then in the next video again.